Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can create a scheduled course as an instructor in VizIQ. So the very first step is you will log into the platform as an instructor. The moment you log in, you can find the list of courses which have already been created by you. And on the bottom right, you can find an option of creating a scheduled course. In step number one, you will start defining the course settings whether it's a free course or it's a paid course. If it is a paid course, you can define the price here. Who should be able to view this course? To all the visitors, only to the registered users of the academy and only to the users you enroll. These are the three different settings out of which you can choose the one. You can also have multiple instructors and you can also define and force sequencing as well as you can enable or disable discussions depending upon your requirements. Then we'll go to step number two. Here we start defining the curriculum for the scheduled course. And the very first step is you will start with a start date and an end date. These are mandatory to be defined by the instructor. So let's say I want my course to get started from 17th of April and I want to make it one month. So it will come to an end on 17th of May. Once you have chosen the dates, you will have to click on save and it will ask you to confirm the dates. After confirming the dates, you cannot change your start date, although you have an option that you can keep on extending your end dates in case if it is required. So let's get started with the course title. Here you can see you have an option of adding up weeks. So we'll create it as a two weeks course. Within each week, you will have the option of defining your activities on a day wise basis. So you can see there are seven days within first week and same goes for week number two. Now there are two levels of activities which you can define. One activity is which is meant for the entire week and the another activity is which is meant for a specific date. So if you want to make certain content material available to the students all through the week then you will have to upload that content files within this space which is under the all week and if you want to distribute the content for a specific date and time then you will have to choose the specific date. So let's get started with the first activity. We'll click on files and upload a document. Again, you see there are two options, browsing it from the computer or adding up it from the library. We'll first choose browse from the computer. You also get to see these two settings. Number one is allow others to download this file. And number two is, is this a required activity? So if you want your file to be downloadable, you can keep this box as checked. If you want to make this activity as a mandatory activity, then again, you will have to check this box. Once you are done, you can click on continue. So now you see that a particular document file has been added under the all week section. So once I click on specific day, you can see I have different options here. First is the file, second is the live class, third is a recorded class, fourth is assignment and last but not the least, there is assessment. Let's get started with the files option. This time we will choose it from the library and we'll click on add to course. Because this course is a scheduled course, that's why you are able to see this live classes option. So we'll create a live class within a course. You can give an appropriate subtitle, which is basically a tagline associated with main session. You can also choose your time on which you want to do it. You can also choose your time zone. You can decide whether it's a mandatory activity or is it optional? Do you want to record this lecture or not? In case you want to upload a class logo, you can do it from here. Then there is class duration, total number of attendees, language of instruction. Once you are done, you will click on schedule and continue. Similarly, we will add more activities in week number two. Let's add up an assignment in this case. So assignment is basically an activity which is assigned by the instructor. Once it has been assigned to the learners, they can log into the platform, download and work upon it. And they will have an option that they can submit the assignment back to the instructor. You can also decide whether you want to give a timeline for your assignment or not. So once you have defined the title, description, timeline, and you have attached a document file, which is basically the project which you want your learners to do, you will have an option of creating it. And lastly, we will create an assessment here. You can see there is an option using which instructor can also clone an existing test. So once you clone the test, all the settings which were predefined will get applied to this assessment. You will just have to choose the passing percentage, make it as a required activity and click on next. 
you can also add more questions if you want if you do not want to add any questions you can click on next and finally you will have an option of publishing the test instructor also has the facility that he can rename the weak names so we'll change the names as per our need before we go to the next step we will just have a quick review we started with defining the start and end date then we gave an appropriate title then we created two weeks and within two weeks we added activities as per the requirement so you can see there's a document there's a powerpoint presentation then there's a live lecture in week number two we have an assignment we have an assessment once you have completely defined your curriculum we will go to the last step which is defining the course metadata so you can give a subtitle you can highlight the important things about the course then you can write something about the course so that before the learner is gonna enroll he is aware that what is gonna learn over a period of time you can also have your course logo uploaded then there is language of instruction once you are done with everything you can click on publish course immediately after publishing you will get this message informing that course has been created successfully please refresh the courses page to view the course in the course list so we will close this window and refresh our page once and now you see that online course on GRE preparation has been created successfully so if I click on the course then you can track the overview which you have defined you can see the logo you can see your own profile on the right hand side you can see a quick summary of the course so the first option is it's a scheduled course language of instruction is English its start date is April 17th 2018 the duration is two weeks and the sequencing has been enabled for this course down below you can see total number of documents assignments tests, and live classes added and if you want you can also preview it as a learner so before you actually make it available to the students you have an option that you can preview it so as to make sure that everything is running fine within the course if you want to see your schedule you can click on the option and uh, see whatever you have created this is your people tab from where you can start enrollment of the students and the last tab is the assignments wherein you can keep track of all the submissions which will be done by the students so thank you so much for watching this video tutorial I hope that this video will help you to create a scheduled course as an instructor in WizIQ